to 411 Carline, you can find us at 411carline.com. You can view the free car facts there as well. You can set up an appointment on our website or by calling 952-540-9000. Of course, you could email or call with any questions. You'll have to excuse the music. CrossFit's going on over there, so if you're a CrossFitter and you're in the area, maybe check out CrossFit Minnetonka. <laughs> This is a 2006 Toyota Sienna. It is an XLE, so it's leather, heated seats, moonroof, power doors, power windows, power locks. It's been fully inspected by a third-party mechanic shop. They recommended doing brakes, so we did brakes on it, pads and rotors all the way around. Tires were in good condition, so we didn't need to do anything with those. Um, the wheels, as you can see, have some Toyota happening here. They get a little bit of this flaking. Something with the alloy they used, like 2005 to 2009 or 10. So, but Toyotas are bought for re reliability. It does have moonroof, roof rack. Interior is actually pretty clean. Seats are in relatively good condition. I mean, obviously there's a little wear and tear. It's a 2006 with around 100,000 miles on it. Pop in here and turn it on. Of course, the sun's going down, so we're getting that funny glare. 109, 592. It's got dual automatic climate control, as you can see there. Um, heated seats, and it works because my butt's on fire. <laughs> Uh, there's a couple uh, 12 volt plugs there. I was looking around, I see CD player, I do not see, I see home link. Uh, it's got the power sliders, moonroof of course. I don't see unless I missed it somewhere, like an aux port or anything. Might be a little bit early for that. There might be a way you can hook one up to the back of these, I'm not sure. It does have the JBL, the upgraded audio system. Of course, the cruise control. Um, you can uh, lock, it's got a power rear door, power rear vents, you can lock the door, the sliders, in case your kids are back there. Oh, I missed the aux port right here. So it does have an aux port, which is important for a lot of people. I looked in there, it does have factory manuals. Hop out. I'll just take a look around the interior first here. So both power sliders work as they should. I don't think the back was used much in this. Usually you get like funny staining, you'll get a lot of like Cheerios and stuff down in the holes. This one's really clean. Seats don't have like any car seat marks or anything. Uh, the back seat just has marks from being laid down. So it's probably maybe stowed a lot of its life. So yeah, pretty clean. Pretty clean. So kind of cool these fold over so you can put a beverage in there. There are also screens over the back windows. They're manual, you pull those up. And there's rear climate control here if you want your kids to have control of that. Some people may, some people may not. It's got some pretty nice Bridgestone all seasons on it. The tread depth is uh, closer to new than anything. Closer to new than well used, so I don't know what the actual tread depth is, but mechanics inspect that. Looks like it's got weather techs for the front and maybe like the middle row. Of course it's stow and go for these seats, they stow into the back here. You can check that out in the pictures, it's pretty easy, I suppose I could show you too. The back folds down by pulling this, and then you just pull on this one. And of course, it's a much easier when there aren't floor mats in there, but and it lays flat when there aren't floor mats. But you need to bring it back up so like that. Pull this back. I like the with the stow and go. You can kind of lean the seats however you want. They aren't at just one angle. So I haven't seen a button other than on the remote. So I think for the rear gate, you just kind of usually there's a button on the inside. You can see the JBL subwoofer, subwoofer there. I think you just kind of pull on it a little bit and it closes, so. Again, these seats are pretty immaculate. They have almost nowhere for a 2006. Close. You can see the screen in that window there. 
power doors work as they should. Uh, exterior, it's pretty clean body-wise. It's got a couple little scratches. There's one kind of there low on the... Kind of hard to see. There's a little scratch there. Not really worth painting a whole panel over. Some slight uh, you know, staining from where the floor mats don't touch, but overall it's super clean. Dash is pretty good. It's got that one little Toyota crack there, not too bad. I'll show you underneath here real quick and then we'll go to the engine bay. So my phone picks up the small engine noises, so it's relatively free of rust. If you look at the bolts, I mean, if you look, compare this to a 2006 that was around here, it would be way more rusty. So we ship all of our vehicles in from out of state. And this is the exact reason why. Up under here. If you look at the suspension components, the floor, the unibody. Pretty clean. So. Pop the hood, I'll show you some other things I look at on Toyotas. Door edges and bottoms, didn't see anything funny with those. The hood's relatively clean too, front bumper. Some chips and bug marks and stuff, but nothing too terrible. I'm gonna have to hold you off to the side here for a minute. Sorry about that, had to prop the hood up. So yeah, if you look, usually on Toyotas, especially on like the East Coast and in Minnesota, you'll get a lot of rust on a lot of bolts. And then the tender wells here. This one's pretty clean. Again, my phone picks up the valve point nice, so you might be able to feel injectors and valves ticking. Um, not to be alarmed by that. Just my phone picking up funny noises. But yeah, pretty clean. Usually everything looks kind of like that. But this one is, uh, this here. AC blows cold, it was just, just running, so. Again, you can find us at 411carline.com. Give us a call, 952-540-9000. Enjoy the rest of your day.